everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is Casey and I'm the maker and creator behind Back Dean Boutique and today's video is an embroidered eye tutorial I'm going to show you three different methods of how I prefer to embroider my Amigurumi's eyes please stay tuned if you want to see how I do these three methods the supplies that you'll need to embroider um, your eyes on your crochet items are going to be scissors, um, black yarn. I like to use a four weight acrylic. You can also use um, cotton yarn as well. Um, white yarn, I also like to use acrylic. You'll need safety pins. I prefer these for helping mark where I want my eyes to be. And then lastly, you're going to need a good needle I like to use metal needles over plastic needles. You want your needle to have a blunt tip. And then this one is um, a little bit thicker and has a slight bend in it. I really like that. Um, but I've also used um, straight needles as well. So that's just a per personal preference. Okay, the first eye tutorial is going to be a closed sleepy eye with um, little eyelashes. This is my go-to for a very simple embroidered eye for something like on my octos that I sell. This is the Biddy Octopus pattern by uh, Stitch Sister Co. I'll have it linked down below. For this eye tutorial you're going to need four pens. Once you get used to doing this, you won't need the pens anymore, but for the sake of learning, you want pens. And this eye has um, two points on each eye, so there'll be the outside of the eye, the inside of the eye, the inside of the eye, the outside of the eye. So we're going to mark those four points. I like to use matching colors for each eye. Okay, I'm going to mark the outside of the first eye. And for this pattern, I am going over two stitches. If this is a larger head pattern, I would maybe go over three, but this is how wide I want my eye. And then I'm gonna mark my next eye, which I think I want three stitches in between the eyes. So we'll just see how that looks here in a second. So there's the first, the inside, and then I'm gonna go over two stitches. And just looking at that, I think that looks good. Um, the eye shape is gonna be about like that. And the reason I like to use pins is I can easily take them out and reposition them until I know exactly where I like my eye to be. And I am just marking these, I'm pushing the pins in between the stitches, not through any of the single crochets here, but in between the single crochets. So for this eye, you're only gonna need black yarn. I've got a long piece here, probably too long but I'd rather have more than not enough. So I always I always start with um, this right eye first, my right. So I'm going to enter through the back of the stuffy's head and find that first stitch, that first marker. I'm gonna take that out so I don't need it anymore. And pull up, and you wanna leave um, an okay amount for tying off at the very end. Next, we are going to enter into this same colored um, marker here. And you're going to want to come out, you're going to kind of make a triangle. So, let me mark it so you can see. So, in between these two stitches, we're going to come out on the, the row above it, directly above. So we're making a triangle, essentially. We're going to come out here, 
We're going to leave the needle halfway out and we're going to take our, our yarn and put it over top of the needle. Let's hold it there and just keep pulling out now. So that makes the eyes shape. And to secure that, we're going to put our needle back into that same hole, making sure we're going over this part of the yarn. So we're kind of locking it in place there. It'll be like that. And we'll keep that eyes shape like that. And we are going to come out down at the bottom of the eye, right where we started. Now you can leave your eye just like that or you can add little eyelashes. Um, the girlier colors, I like to add little eyelashes. If it's a boy color, I sometimes don't, sometimes I do. Um, it just depends on how I'm feeling. This is an example of one where I didn't add eyelashes. I thought it looked cute just like this. But for this example, we're going to add eyelashes because I think the yellow is very sunny and cheerful. And eyelashes would look really cute. So, the eyelashes are just going to be two, two little eyelashes. So I've got my yarn coming out of where I started at the very beginning. And I'm going to, about one stitch over, insert my needle, and I'm going to try to come up at an angle in between where I started and where I just inserted. Kind of like making another little triangle. Pull that through, and then we're going to go back down and insert our needle into that very first spot again. To keep the embroidery very seamless and easy, we're going to, right as of right now, hop right on over to the next eye. So as I'm inserting my needle, I want to make my needle come out over here at the inside of the second eye. So you want to find that spot where your marker is. And right there, now I can remove the marker. We're gonna pull our yarn all the way through and we're gonna check out our finished little eye over here. Very cute. Now we're going to do the same thing to this eye. It's just mirrored. So we're going to insert our needle into that second marker Ooh. it was right here and we're going to do the same thing where we make a triangle and we find the top of the triangle make sure we're staying in that same row we're going to leave the needle hanging halfway out loop the yarn around the needle and then continue pulling the needle all the way through. Then we're going to insert back down into that same spot. We're going to come out at the outside corner of this eye to make our eyelashes. We're going to make our two eyelashes, so I'm going to insert my needle here about one stitch over and make it come out about the middle and halfway up the row. We're going to insert our needle back down into that same outside corner. Now for this one, what we're going to do is we want our needle will come out where we went in all the way at the beginning. 
This can be hard sometimes if you have a bigger item, so you might have to work a little bit harder. Okay, so let's just check her out before we finish. And it doesn't hurt to just give a little tug and make sure your stitches aren't too tight. Sometimes if they're too tight, they get pulled down in and you can't see them at all. So you just want to make sure they're they're not too far down into your stuffed animal's head that they disappear. But I think she looks pretty cute. So to finish her off, I'm just going to tie two knots. And you want to make sure you came out in that same hole that you went in. in. And so when you're making a knot, it's just going straight down into the stuffing and not over top of a stitch. If it went over top of a stitch, you would be able to see it even after you hit it. Um, and if you went down into the stuffing, then you're not going to be able to see it. So I made two knots and I just trim my tails so that they're easier for me to thread. You don't have to do that. Thread my needle. And then I'm going to go down right into that same spot where the knot is and just make sure I'm going through the stuffing. That stuffing is going to help keep things secure. Make sure there's no pulling there. I've come out the top of the head and I'm just going to trim this. I don't go too close just to be safe. And then I'm going to take the end of my hook, insert it, and try to just catch that and just move it into there. Um, I've seen people do the same thing with their crochet hook or they go in and they just kind of stab it like this to get it to go down. And you can do any of those methods, whatever is easiest for you. And there we have it. We have our first completed embroidered eye. For this second tutorial is going to be a very simple open eye um, and this is very easy to learn um, it still gives your uh, stuffed animals a lot of character and looks really nice I really like to use this eye a lot so the first thing we're going to do is mark where we want our eyes and this eye is going to be worked over top of a stitch and it's essentially whip stitching back and forth so we're going to mark the center of a stitch um, where there's two good holes that we can work through um, so I think let's see here I like to find a spot where I know like the head looks good and the rows are pretty straight um, because you know we're working in the round and so the rows are always kind of a little crooked um, and that's just by how amigurumi works but every once in a while there's a spot that looks pretty straight so I'm going to choose here that's for one eye and and I'm going to choose here for my second eye. And this is just marking really the center of the eye, just so I know where I want them placed and where they'll look good at. Move them apart just a little bit. Okay. And if you're curious, this is the second pattern from the S Stitch Sister Co. Um, pattern pack that this Ollie, or this, this is Biddy, and then this is Ollie. So Ollie is a bit bigger than Biddy. So, um, Biddy's more of a baby size, so that's why I put the sleeping eyes. This one is a bit bigger, that I think more, um, adults or older children are more, are, are more drawn towards, so I'm going to give him awake eyes. So, I'm starting with some black yarn on my needle, and this is just going to be 
yarn for one eye. I'm going to start on this eye. I'm going to insert my needle into the back of the head and I'm going to come out at the bottom below the, the marker that I have and of course you want to leave a little tail back here and so I'm going to be working into this stitch and this I shouldn't call them stitches it's, it's a gap or it's, it's a good hole you know you don't want to try to work into into right into directly into a stitch it's nice and smooth to work into these holes that are naturally just made when crocheting so I'm going to insert my needle into the top and I'm going to bring it back out right into this spot that I started in. And like I said, it's essentially just kind of whip stitching back and forth up. I'm just going to go in here into that same exact spot. And I'm going to come out in the same exact spot. And after you've done so many, it starts to make a, th a thicker place of the yarn because it's, it's all spreading around. And I like to keep track of how many I did so that way I know to replicate it. So that, I think that was four. I'm just going in and out. Five. Six, eight, and you can see how that kind of took a nice shape, a nice, um, it's not perfectly circled, it's kind of like an oval shape, and it's very easy. This is a very easy way to embroider eyes on something. And so this will be my ninth one and I think that's good. And so I'm going to insert back into the top but come out right onto this side. And as you can see I'm kind of pushing the yarn off to the sides just to make it bigger. Okay, I think that looks really good. That was nine, um, and then I'll show you an example later of um, something that I only do, you know, three or four passes through. The smaller the uh, the smaller the item, smaller eyes that you want, the less passes. The bigger the eye, the um, more passes you need to go through. So next, I'm going to take my white yarn. And I'm going to make a little, I call it a twinkle in the eye. Um, and I like to place it kind of starting here and then down like halfway. I've seen people do the whole outside of the eye that looks cute with a also a little twinkle on the inside. So it's all personal preference um, and how you want to essentially brand your items so that all the eyes look the same. Uh, this is the method I prefer to do. It's simpler. So I'm going to insert my needle into the back of the head with the white yarn and I'm going to come out. You kind of have to work with it. You're going to want to come out not at the top but off to the side and down just a hair. You might have to wiggle it around a little bit. This brings back memories of me learning how to um, cross stitch with my grandma. So now that I'm up, come, I've come out there and pulled through, I'm going to insert my needle back down in to where I want my white yarn to stop, where I want the twinkle to 
be. And I do that, you know, almost all the way, i say three-fourths of the way down. I'm still on the outside of the eye. And I want my yarn to come back through. You're going to come right back through that same hole again. We're going to use that method this entire time. Okay. Got a couple of fuzzes. And there is our twinkle. And you can see how that looks. Very simple, but it worked out really, worked up really quick and easy. And it makes a good shape of an eye. And now I'm just going to tie these off. And what I like to do, because sometimes if you pull this, these whites too much whenever you're making your knots, your twinkle will disappear into the eye, into the black. So I actually like to take my needle and place it through that white of the twinkle right there, just that white. And then that way when I go to pull on this, that w it knows it, it, you know, it's giving resistance and it can't go any further into the eye. It's a nice little trick if you're struggling with that. So I'm just going to knot off the white as well as the black. And I will hide both of the ends in the head. See? The eye kept its shape with the twinkle. There's been times I did not do that and I regretted it. I had to go in and either add another twinkle or try to fish it out and pull it and so I'm just going through that same place where I made the knot in the hole and I'm just threading it into the stuffing, pulling it out, got to trim and just make sure I hide that in there. I've never had any issues with these ends coming out before, especially when you go through the stuffing. That stuffing really helps secure the ends. Um, my kids are my my testers for all of my methods, and their eyes still look really good. All right, so I'm going to repeat the same exact method to this eye as well. Um, doing the same amount of passes, I did nine, and that will give me the exact same size of the eye. Every once in a while, you need to do one more or one less, um, but for the most part, you wanna make sure you're keeping with the same number.
here we have the completed eyes for this method. Um, and I always never know what to call this method. I just call it to myself, I call it the whip stitch eye because um, you're just kind of whip stitching an eye right there. So the last method that I'm going to be showing you is the most difficult of the three methods. Um, and it is how you embroider a rose whenever you're embroidering um, flowers and such. Um, it comes out with a pretty much perfectly shaped circle. That's why I like using it so much, but it is harder. So this is eventually going to be a bunny. Um, I like to use this circular method on um, my snugglers and things that the eyes are more towards the sides of the head for. Um, I don't know, I just prefer the, the circular method on this, on this stuffed animal. Um, so I've got pins in here where I want the eyes. Now that I'm looking at them, I'm thinking they look a little crooked. So I'm going to try to just replace them just a hair. And the pins are going to be the center of the eye. The eye is going to be a bit bigger, about this size. Um, and we're going to be stitching into all places of the stitches, not just through a stitch or over, over a single crochet. We're going to be coming out in all places, um, at the beginning of the, the embroidered eye. Okay. I think that looks better. Um, this is one of my favorite reasons why I like to embroider eyes instead of use stitch marker or safety eyes. It's because you see the finished product and you can put the eyes exactly where they need to go versus safety eyes. You're sort of guessing. Um, and then in the end, the eyes might be placed wrong and you can't take them off because they're locked in. So I think that's where I want my eyes. So we're going to start with this eye. I have my black yarn on my needle. I'm going to insert my yarn in the back of the eye. I'm going to come out right dead center to where this marker is. Which can be hard if you place it right in the middle of, a, of the yarn. <laughs> okay. Okay, so this is the center of my eye right now, and what we are going to do is make a five point star coming out of the center of the eye. And as far as your points come out is as big as the eye is going to be. If you need an eye that's this big, then your points need to be half that size. They're going to have to come out all the way to here. But I would just want to make a tiny little eye. So my points are going to be about the length of my single crochets here. So I'm going to make my first point here. And instead of going back to the center and coming out and making another stitch, I'm just going to cut across to where another stitch would happen. You'll see here in a second what I mean. I'm going to come down through that center again. So this that's my second point. And then I want to find a spot where I can make my next point. This is definitely the hardest part of of this um embroidered eye is making the five pointed star and after that it's pretty easy. Okay, there's my third point. There's my 
fourth is going to be right here, and then my fifth needs to be over here just to kind of make it even. It's kind of going to look like a asterisk, it's what you really want it to look like. It's just not long enough. Trying to make my line a little bit longer here. Okay. So there's one, two, three, four. This is going to be the fifth. And whenever I, instead of inserting it to, into the center, because I don't really have anywhere to come up, I pick one of the. Um, points the lines that are directly across from where I'm putting in and I'm going to go under that and it locks in that line and it starts with our our the rows method that we use here um, because what you're going to do is you're going to now embroider under and over each one of these you know it's like you're weaving so I just went under this star line. Now I'm going to go over this one and under this one. Over this one and under this one. So I just went under, I'm gonna go over this one, which is, that's the one we started with and we first went under it. So now you can see where we're starting to weave under this one, over, under, over, under, over, under, over. We're just going to keep repeating that until we get our eye the size that we want it to be. I do this until I am kind of at the, the edges of all the points of my star. You can see how that's making a nice, perfect circle. If your points were one, if one of your points was a lot longer than the other one, then you're, you might not make a perfect circle. It might be off just a little bit. So I'm nearing the ends now. Just trying to see if I want it to be any bigger or I think that's about the size I want it to be. That's kind of the size of like a dime I would say. So to finish off I'm just going to um, going through here but instead of coming out I'm going to find my end back here. There we have that perfectly circle eye. Now I've seen a lot of people um, make circular eyes by crocheting a magic circle and then sewing it on. Um, I've never done that before because I don't like, I would much rather prefer to do that, what we just did, than crochet something and then have to sew it on. Um, 
this makes a, a circle I just as well as that does and I think it would save time doing it this way I think I'm not sure though I'd, I've never done the other method so and you can make your eyes whatever size you want essentially with this versus the other way you're kind of stuck with a certain size of what your magic circle would be so I've just tied off and put the yarn through the body like how I've, or the head like I've done the other ones I'm just trying to hide that there we go okay so now we're going to make the twinkle so I've got my white yarn and like I've said before this is just my method of how I this is just how I like my twinkle of my eyes to look um, I've seen and I've done it before in the past especially if I'm trying to make an animal that looks um, like if I'm trying to make a dog look exactly like how a, a person's pet dog looks and the dog has brown eyes I'll do a black eye like this and then I'll take brown and I will embroider that on this outside here to give it that brown eye look the same with like a blue eyed dog or green eyed cat or whatever but I still like to do the twinkle too because it gives it life and character so I'm going to take my white yarn and go in through the back and I'm going to come up let's say come up about here I like to have my my animal look at me kind of when I'm making it that way I'm not crooked or anything like that and it's got it's in the right place okay and then I'm gonna go straight down just a little you know a quarter of the way down half of the way down but I'm not all the way at the bottom I'm gonna go right back out that same hole and that gives a perfect little twinkle I'm going to tie this off and hide the yarn in the body like I've been doing So that is my first eye, and now I'm going to repeat the exact same thing over here to make my second eye.
want to make sure that they are symmetrical in size um, and you could do that by literally measuring it with a measuring tape or I just kind of try to get a rough measurement with my needle here and it looks like they're about the same size so make sure it's not got any weird shaped sides I think it looks good I'm just going to finish it off then. There is the finished eye look of the, um, it's the same method you use to embroider a rose. Um, I believe it's called a wagon wheel possibly. Um, I'm not an embroiderer. Um, I wish I was. <laughs> I wish I could do it, but um, yeah, maybe one day in the future. I hope you guys enjoyed those three different methods that I use um, for embroidering my eyes, and I hope you found them useful and you're able to use them on your amigurumi um, so you can make more expressive faces, um, cuter faces, and be able to either stop using safety eyes or just wanting to learn different methods of, of how to um, embroider eyes. So if you have any questions about anything, if I made anything too confusing, just let me know down in the comments. Um, but if not, I will see you guys in the next video.